guys welcome back to my channel if you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a future upload I wanted to start this video out while I could um, with Chloe taking a nap this morning and show you guys some amazing things I received in the mail this week um, as most of you know I was one of the winners um, in Nitra B's uh, giveaway during the vlogmas um, giveaway she was doing on her channel and um she had I recently got my my package in the mail and she had sent me some amazing things I'm wearing one of the products today on my lips and I guess I'll start with that one um it is pretty vulgar the brand is pretty vulgar I've heard her mention it before but I've never tried any of their products and this color is called my lips are sealed I believe yes so this is the lippy it's not focusing and I'm holding the camera with my other hand on the tripod let me see if I can throw a focus for you well, anyway um, I'm wearing this today so I'm gonna put this back in my purse because I want to keep this on me for reapplication so I'll show you guys the packaging it came in this is the box um, which I thought was pretty cute and it has like the little seal on it so that was one item the next thing I got was this Smashbox color correcting stick I've never used one of these I've never used one of them from Smashbox I've used color correctors I've never used um, one like this a purple one um, especially not from Smashbox. I haven't used really many Smashbox products in the past, but um, this looks pretty interesting. So it says, let's see, banish dullness with this silky formula that glides on to instantly brighten. She gave me some brushes. So there's a pack of three brushes in here, and this is by. Alamar, I believe is how you pronounce it. If you guys know how to pronounce it, let me know. But that's what it looks like. I think it says Alamar. I got one of her lippies, Nitra B. This one is um, a matte liquid lipstick and it is in the color of mauve sugar. So I got that. Never tried this, but from Dermalogica, she sent me the um, Pyro Replenish Oil, or Phyto, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, it's a skin treatment to reinforce, reinforce your skin's natural um, protective barrier, so I'm going to test this out very soon. I got a lippy called Pandemonium from Urban Decay. I haven't opened it yet to see what it looks like, but let me show you guys. I was going to try this one out today, but decided not to. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Let me see what it looks like. Ooh, it's nice and violet. I like that. Okay. Something else I've been wearing, I did wear this the last couple of days. Um, she got me an Estee Lauder lippy, and this one is called um, Burning Love. And it's like that. Just so you can see how pretty that one is. So I've been wearing that one. And I just love the packaging. It's so pretty. I got an e.l.f. corrective powder. Um, this is in yellow, like a setting powder. A baked highlighter from e.l.f. A little eyeshadow, L'Oreal eyeshadow palette. Or pod. And then I got this Maybelline one called Seashell. Looks like a pretty color. Another Maybelline one called Forest Green. And another one called Made for Mocha. So some very pretty shadows, single shadows, and other things. I think 
go. Let me look at you guys. Needless to say, I am super excited about all the beautiful lippies she sent me. And this one, um, oddly enough, turned out to be one of my favorites I received. I've never really worn a brown or bronze lippy. And I just think it looks really good with the eye makeup look I created today. So without rambling on too much longer, because I don't like my intros to be super long and boring of me just talking, I am going to wait for Chloe to get up finish cleaning up around here and then by the time she wakes up it'll, it'll probably be lunch time so we'll probably be going to get something to eat and I guess I'll see you then it's another rainy messy day outside in North Carolina per usual so yeah you guys not too much probably going on today it's gonna be a chill day but I'll see you in just a bit bye <laughs> hi Cristiano oh, nice. I'm recording <laughs> Chloe you ready for your food? You're gonna eat some rice and beans, Nanish? I got chilaquiles. Chloe's gonna eat with me. What did you say? <laughs> Let me see. What did you get? Steak. Is it good? Do it, Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, I want to get her to do the thumbs up. Do it. Just like I do it. <laughs> I want to say good. Show me, Chloe. Was your food good? It was really good. Um, what did you get? Hi, baby. You have your doggy? Yeah. How was your food? It was good. Your, yes, it was so good. You still have a chip. It was so good. You couldn't put that chip down, huh? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, I know. Trust me, girl. I know. Lunch was good. Oh, my lipstick is still on. Pretty good, it looks like. It's raining, as you can see in the background. It's misting. And... I'm extremely full I don't know where we're going I don't think we know where we're going but we'll see you when we get there all right guys we just came back inside it is getting a little bit more misty outside it's not full-blown raining yet like it's supposed to as the day progresses on I really like this makeup look today um anyways had to stop at Aldi's, so I decided why not go ahead and make that stop since we were passing it on the way back home. <laughs> Chloe. I wanted to show you guys, I only spent $39. I don't know if you can see that in the store. $39. I want to show you guys everything I got at good old Aldi for $39. Okay. Watch this. The first thing I want to show you guys, because everything I'm going to show you is under 39, diapers included. Yes, diapers. They have diapers. I got a box of 72 diapers. Chloe's in a size 5 right now. And these actually work really good. I would compare them, Chloe, I would compare them to that of Target brand, Walmart brand, any um, store brand diapers, like any other kind. Um, I mean Huggies even because I compared Target diapers to Huggies like I mean they, they work fine for us and you get 72 and they were only $10.99 I think I told you guys in one of my other vlogs I got her some diapers and they are only $10.99 for 72 diapers 72 for Huggies and Pampers you're gonna pay 20 and up easy okay so that's that I've never tried these before I wanted to see what they were all about. They're some French bread. Um, they're very soft, very soft bread, and they have like um, chocolate inside. So I thought those looked good. And there's eight in a bag. And you get some more napkins. So I have a pack of 250 napkins there. Very excited about this. They had um, a few different kinds, but I thought this was the safest considering it was store brought and all you need to do is thaw it and serve it. It's a 15 piece California roll, um, including soy sauce and wasabi. And you can see through the other side here what it looks like. 
Not bad. I think this is under $5. I want to say, yeah, oh, it was $5.49 for the frozen sushi. Sandwich meat. That was only $2.49. I got some juices for the kids. I only got a pack. Chloe doesn't really drink it as much, but sometimes she does. I got these um, pretzel dips for whoever wants them. I mean, these are just little yogurt pretzels that we can munch on. Pop-Tarts for the kids. Milk. Some detergent. And some veggies, California medley. And again, all of that. For $39.37. You guys know what? The only other thing I really wanted that they didn't have in that Aldi's. I'm trying to carry all this stuff. Watch out, baby. You hit yourself. You hit yourself with the box. They didn't have um, iced coffee in that one. But it's okay. That was the only thing I really wanted. This past week at work. You guys know, I haven't really had Starbucks anything, like, from Starbucks, directly from Starbucks, um, since I was pregnant. And even then, I was ordering, like, the um, decaf drinks that I really liked. And, you know, I've had, like, the iced coffees that I would buy from the store from there, here at home. But <clears throat> this past week at work, oh. Thursday, me and my coworker went to Starbucks twice that day and I just thank you I'm just like she's got me back on my Starbucks kick like we've had Starbucks pretty much every day this past week and I'm fiending for some Starbucks right now when we went to the when we got to the drive through window on Thursday oh Chloe get out of the curtains I asked the cashier I was like y'all put y'all must put crack in your drinks because what is it like why when you start drinking Starbucks you just can't stop. Anybody else feel like that? I know there's some people that probably don't like Starbucks, but for the most part, everybody that drinks it is obsessed with it. And that may be part of why I had to stop drinking it because it was just like drugs. <sighs> Not that I know what that would be like, but you know what I mean. It's an addiction. Anyway, look at this. Just look. Chloe. Yeah. Do you think we can't see you? <laughs> if it was nice outside, we could go take your car out, but it's not. Why are you in mommy's curtains? Hey. Can you, baby, can you come out of the curtains with your strawberries in a cup? Oh. Mm. It's good? There he is. <laughs> oh, it's good? Okay. Is it good? It's so good. Uh, okay, you're going to pull the curtains now. Come over here. Come out of the curtains. You're going to get pow-pow if you don't come out. Come on out. Okay. Come on out before you get pow-pow. Thank you. That is mine. No, it is not your phone. It's mommy's phone. I guess we're in for now. I might have me a little snack and a few. I'm still kind of full from lunch. So I'm going to have me a snack and just relax and look at some lifetime. I don't know. Are you balancing your toys? And we have just been sitting in the living room relaxing. I actually dozed off slightly for a little bit, but it's about 4 o'clock now. And I wasn't too sure what we were going to do for dinner today, but I had some shrimp. I got that medley at the store today, and I have some rice. So I am going to be whipping up something quick and easy in just a little bit. And this is what I'm going to be using. So I have plenty of shrimp for all of us. I'll do a quick thaw on those, and yeah. This is going to be easy. I can actually steam that in the microwave with this bag. And then I've got some Mahatma white rice. 
I'll make some of that and we should be good to go. Does that sound good, Mom? Just some veggies, shrimp, and rice. Something quick and easy. I did try one of these earlier, and these are actually pretty good. They taste like buttery croissants. Um, the chocolate inside, it can be heated up a little bit just so it's kind of like softened a little bit because they are like little chocolate sticks kind of in there. So it's not like hard and crunchy, but you can tell it's like, you know, it's pretty firm. So the bread is soft, but it would be nice if I would have heated it up a little bit to give it a better um, texture, I guess, to it. Mm -hmm. Just in case anyone has questions, I am browning a cup of rice. And that's going to be enough for all of us because we don't eat a lot of rice. So in my rice, um, once I've got it browned, I'm going to add um, about two and a half cups of water. And I'm going to add a um, teaspoon of this tomato um, bouillon flavor and a teaspoon of chicken flavor and cover that for about 25 minutes so probably about the last five minutes of the rice cooking I'll pop the medley in and also uh, work on my shrimp within that last five minutes as well so this is gonna be real simple guys real quick and easy I'll pop back on in a minute to show you guys how it's progressing along but this this way your rice is gonna taste amazing every time I've never shown you guys me actually using this cup. This is what I got for uh, Christmas from Cristiano, but I'm drinking a little rosé. Um, it says either give me more wine or leave me alone. And Cristiano thought that was perfect for me. But I got this drink at Aldi. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's this one. It's Moiselle Sweet Rosé. Um, it's pretty good. It's a little too sweet for me. I don't like really sweet stuff, but... It's not horrible. So I'm having that. And I'm just starting on my shrimp. I just put some butter in the pan. I'm going to season that up. Might do some soy glaze over it. And um, yeah, just to kind of switch things up a little bit. <laughs> 